What's up everyone? I'm excited because I have an update here on my trail. A new vlog here. The jump is set in place pretty much. The landing on the last jump has all the wood in it that it needs. Super excited. This was the big barrier and the bugs out here are brutal. Um, yeah, so this was the big barrier out here because I ran out of wood. As you can tell, there's probably about, uh, I don't know, 12 trees in here. So quite a bit of trees. And I want to avoid using live trees whenever possible. We had to use whatever we could find in the area. So there's tons of deadfall over there that I used way down there. And it was just such a mission to haul everything up on our shoulders and get it all up on this massive landing that's like at least six or seven bikes long. It's huge. And then there's this big hill that continues all the way down to the swamp area down there. It was a massive project. It's finally done and it's taken months because with it being summer season, I've been really busy. I haven't honestly been digging that much. So I'm really happy to be back out here and yeah, it just feels great. So the next big project for me to get this wrapped up is finishing the takeoff because this is still a struggle for me. I have, I just have to really work on my wood, woodwork skills here. Um, it's in the right spot. The angle's looking good. I do need to shift the whole thing over a couple more inches, like maybe six inches to the rider's right. So to the left here. And once I do that, it'll be more straightened out. So as you can see from, from the top of the landing, I'll get back on the landing here. You can see that it's not quite, well, it's pretty hard to tell the wide angle on the GoPro, but it's not quite straight. Like right now, it's gonna send me to right here. And I wanna ideally be right in the center. So when you're building jumps that are this big, those really fine details are super important. I wanna line up the lip. So it's taking me exactly to the center of this landing. And then I just have the most margin for error possible when I'm doing tricks and boosting it and just like trying to get as sideways as possible and whatever else anyone wants to try on it. Unfortunately, I was working on it earlier today and I screwed everything in, tacked it in with big spikes and I'm not the best carpenter, so it's still not even that solid, but it's in the completely wrong spot, basically. It looks pretty good from the front, but yeah, definitely from the landing, you can tell it's off. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. And as well as doing that, I'm gonna get some dirt on the landing, get it covered up. And then hopefully within the next week or so, I'm riding it. And, uh, let's get to some work here. And it turns out I need a lot more dirt than I thought I would. All this stuff I piled down here that I originally planned on using for up on here is in the right spot right now. Like there's a really nice natural curve that's happening and why move dirt twice? So I'm gonna leave it here and just kind of rake it around and then it's gonna have a really nice ending to this landing zone. Everything's cleared out now too. I just need to move a few logs at the very bottom and get a nice little run out happening. But yeah, this, it's still quite a bit of work, even though it looks like it's really close. There's probably two or three days of work here on my own doing buckets. And these bugs are still killing me. <laughs> and I just need to find a couple days when I have some free time. Probably later this month because I'm pretty busy the rest of the month. I'm leaving for Crankworks later this week and then in Vancouver for the week. So I won't get to this, but man, is it ever close. I can't wait. Stay tuned, can't wait to update you guys again. And hopefully in the next update, I'm actually riding this jump because it's been a long time coming. See you later.